Hey y'all, Tara Bunner here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a... Uh, I want to straighten my hair. It's cold. I usually... Well, I've started straightening my hair year round now, honestly. But I always straighten my hair in the winter. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. It's nothing too extra. It's real easy, breezy. Um, but we got to give you guys that video today. So, hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff down below. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to blow dry my hair. This is the blow dryer that I like to use. What's on this side? It's the Infinity Pro uh, by Conair. I love this blow dryer. It's really strong. The one con about it is it doesn't have a comb attachment. I prefer blow dryers with the comb attachment, but I do like the way this one works. So it's not a big deal. So real quick, we're gonna prep my hair for the blow dry. Let's start by, oh, I just washed my hair. Not that fun stuff. We're gonna start with some L'Oreal L5 Total Repair, whatever. Almond Protein <laughs> Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using this for about a year. I really do like this leave-in conditioner. Here we go, just like a dollop. If I was gonna keep my hair natural, like if it was gonna stay like this, I would put more, but because I'm gonna straighten it, I don't wanna weigh it down too much. And I just put it throughout my hair. And at this point, I'm also gonna comb through it. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do a uh, voiceover through some of this because the video is pretty long, but after I put that leave-in conditioner in, I split my hair into four sections and I comb through each section. Um, after I comb through a section, I twist it just to keep it from tangling back up too much. And I'm gonna clip um, that section up into a little bun like you see I've done. I'm gonna do that all the way around for each side of my head. All right, y'all, after I split it all four ways, I'm gonna put in a heat protectant and then blow dry my hair. Whenever my hair is wet and I'm blow drying it, I use a cream heat protectant. The one I'm using is by ORS. It's the Hair Restore brand. I'll make sure I insert a picture for you guys. I'm gonna put it on the section of my hair, blow dry, put it on a section, blow dry, put it on a section, blow dry. Um, sometimes I use a paddle brush, sometimes I use a comb, because I do chase, because I don't have a comb attachment on my blow dryer. If you have a comb attachment on your blow dryer, you don't have to follow through with a brush or a comb while you're blow drying. You can just use your comb attachment, obviously. But because I don't have one, this is how I have to do mine. So you're going to see me hop back and forth between using my wash comb or a wide tooth comb, if that's what you prefer, and um, my paddle brush. Alright y'all, we're going to go ahead and press out my hair. Um, I use an Andy's pressing comb. I'm going to plug it in and let it get hot. Um, I use a pressing comb because I'm not that great at blow drying my hair. You got to know your strengths lie. <laughs> if you're really good at blow drying your hair, you probably don't need to press your hair out. But look at my blow dry, y'all. And you can tell I had my hair in a ponytail because I got sidetracked. I had to do something and come back to the video. But anyways, I put it all in the highest setting. Just like I used a cream heat protectant before I blow dry my hair I'm gonna use an oil heat protectant before I press my hair and once again it's by ORS and I said the wrong line earlier I said hair restore is hair repair um, but once again I'm gonna split my hair into sections in the same way I did a section at a time before I blow dried I put cream on each section I'm going to put oil on each section as I press my hair out I 
y'all, I'm gonna slip my hair for ways. I'm gonna put this ORS heat protected serum oil. It's a coconut oil on my hair. So when my hair is dry, I use the oil. When it's wet, I use cream products. I feel like most, <laughs> the norm for most people I'm assuming. Well, it should be, right? I don't know, shoot. Anyways, that's what we gonna do. All right, y'all, so um, once I split my hair in the sections, I think I did three, I don't think I did four. Anyways, um, I press my hair with my hot comb two ways. I go under, I'm sorry, I go <laughs> on top of it and flip up, and then I go under and flip down. So I press it both ways with a small comb and my pressing comb. You can use a rat tail comb if you choose to. I like to use just a small tooth comb. And once again, as you look at it, I'm going on top of my hair. I'm flipping the end of it up. And then I go again underneath my hair and flip down. And I'm going to do that over my whole head. And we're gonna plug in our flat iron and now we're gonna put our hair, finally. We've been doing this for like two hours. This is the flat iron I like to use. It's the Red by Kiss silicone styler. It's like an inch and a half, I think. Um, it has silicone strips on the inside of it. There's one right there. And then one right there. Those things right there. They used to be red. <laughs> I've had the flat iron for Mm, maybe like two years now, a year and a half, something like that. Anyway, they're not red anymore. They're dark, they're burnt. But that's that. We're gonna plug that in. I'm gonna put it all the way up on 450. If y'all can see that. And we're gonna let that get hot. We're not gonna put any more heat protected in our hair because we already have some in. You can tell because my hair has a bit of a sh a bit of a shine to it. That's the, that's this olive oil um, heat protecting it. Anyway, we're gonna let that get hot. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get my hair actually <laughs> flat ironed. This is just what it looks like pressed. It's not flat ironed yet. Um, I'm gonna split it once again into those four, I think I did four sections. You can do four or three, however many sections you want to do it really just depends on how much hair you have honestly i'm going to use that small tooth comb and i have a i want to say it's a one and a half inch 
flat iron. It's the Red by Kiss silicone flat iron. Um, and I use that small purple comb or small tooth comb to chase when I'm flat ironing my hair. Um, you can use a rat tail comb. Some people use a rat tail comb. Some people like to use a like boar hair hairbrush. Um, it's really your preference, but I like to use a small tooth comb. I actually am not going to chase my hair through this entire video. I just wanted to show you guys how I usually do it. But I did pretty good pressing my hair this time. So I didn't need to chase all the way through. Um, but I did want to make sure you guys saw that I do chase my hair usually. So I wanted to show you guys how I do that. I'm going to pass the flat iron through once. As I'm passing through um, that first time, I'm going to hook the comb in my hair. And then when I go to pass through with my flat iron the second time, I'm going to stick it right behind my comb to chase my hair, basically. And then the third time, I'm going to do like a slight curl. So I'm going to do that throughout my whole head. Is there anybody who watches this video, I know you're probably thinking like, geez, that's a lot of heat. <laughs> um, but if you notice, in the beginning of my video, when my hair is in its natural state, I do not have heat damage. And the reason I do not have heat damage is because I make sure I deep condition my hair. So, that's key to a good flat iron, silk press, straightening, whatever you want to call it. Making sure you take care of your hair in its natural state. So I did wash, condition, deep condition, all of that off camera. Make sure I applied oil with my deep conditioner. Like all of that stuff is important to maintaining the integrity and health of your hair, which is why my hair, before I did this video was straight. I washed it and it was curly with no heat damage in the beginning of this video. And now we're straightening it again. Alright you guys, the main thing I do after I am done flat ironing my hair is I wrap my hair. Whether I'm going somewhere and not going somewhere, it doesn't matter. I wrap my hair. The the heat and a hair scarf or whatever you wrap your hair with, it just seals it so perfectly and it makes your wraps or presses, straightenings, whatever, come out even better. So I'm just going to wrap my hair and then put on my bonnet. And I'm going to stay like that for a while. For me, I did it overnight. And then when I came back the next, come back the next day, I'm going to show you what my hair looks like. But you can wrap it for as long as you want to wrap it. I say give it at least, you got to give it at least 30, 45 minutes. Like if you got somewhere to be, wear your hair scarf in the car or something. But it's, this step is really important. All right, you guys, so this is the next day right after I took my hair scarf off. I left my hair scarf on all night, all morning, and this is how it looked when I took it off just for you guys for this video. It came out super good. It came out really straight. I don't have any damage, I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is how my hair came out. My hair has been thriving really, really well. Um, I did cut it a few months ago you guys I don't think I told you guys I know I cut my hair all the time but I cut it again a few months ago because I didn't like the way my ends were looking because sometimes I just get lazy and choose not to take care of my hair but my hair is thriving right now and I'm really happy about that and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe all that fun stuff down below if you did enjoy this video let me know if you want more hair videos like this and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye